Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing and I am at Walmart. It's actually early on a Friday. I'm on my lunch break right now. I've uh, had to be doing errands and running around for work and Chris and I plan on leaving for camp tonight. So I haven't been able to get my grocery order ordered because my credit card was compromised. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> so this is like the fourth time it's happened. So I actually have to go into the store and couldn't do it online this time. So I'm getting ready to run in, get everything we need for camp, last minute things, and get a few things to leave behind for the kids because they're going to be at the house this weekend. Trevlin's going to be in and out. Jaden will be in and out. So I just want to make sure there's some things there for them and then everything Chris and I need for camp. So I'm having a very... Uh, healthy lunch here while I finish finalizing my list um, before I head inside. So all my errands are done. This is my last stop. And uh, so I'm going to snack, make my list, get inside, get everything, get home, get packed, go back to work. <laughs> and then I have my mom's art show tonight and then Chris and I can get on the road and I'll take you guys along with me uh, on the rest of my day. First stop in Walmart is lost his tag so we have to get all new tags including his tag that has our phone numbers and stuff on it so before we go back to camp he is having a new tag on him. So remember why I do pickups and don't actually go into Walmart anymore. That was a long trip. You guys I have a super super quick overview of what I picked up. Somehow I lost my list. And so I was all over Walmart trying to remember everything that was on my list. And I know for a fact there are things I had to have forgotten. And I guess I'll figure those out. <laughs> but first I picked up some grapes for Jaden. I already washed them sitting here. Those are going to go in the fridge for him. And then the other stuff for kids was this. I picked up each kid a box of these sausage, egg, and cheese croissants. Sausage for Jaden. Bacon for Trevlin. And I'll put these in the freezer for them with notes and then Jaden has a friend that's coming and uh, hanging out with him um, this weekend some so I just picked them up a roll of chocolate chip cookie dough they can make some cookies I think there's still pizza I know there's lasagna stuffed shells shepherd's pie chips in the pantry cereal so they are going to be good to go Trevlin can't stay long she's just essentially coming in for my mom's art show visiting with my parents and then picking up food and heading back home to college so i'll put these in the freezer for her with a note on them and then the rest of this stuff is for camp so these were on clearance and chris likes shortbread cookies so they were on clearance for a dollar 75 picked those up picked up a small thing of this, yeah, this melt and dip, dip knockoff Velveeta, and that's going to make dip and then i picked up some of this fall harvest trail mix it was on clearance for five dollars more paper plates for camp when we're out on the trail sour cream for our um, potatoes and to do a dip that i'm going to be making at camp half and half for chris's coffee butter because i think we're going to make some more of that monkey bread um, that he made the other night so good i'll insert a picture of what it looked like Oh my goodness, he did such a great job on that. So I think we're going to make some of that for people when we're there. Bananas, I'll leave a few of these here for the kids and then I'll take a couple. Um, I just grabbed one peach for me to take. Peaches don't travel really, really well. So I just picked up one to take with me. And then I picked up a thing of macaroni salad and a thing of potato salad that we can eat when we're out on the trail. And then a California mix, small mix, and a broccoli florets of the little small steamable packs. Um, that I can just cook up in a saucepan. It says steamable, but I probably won't do that. I'll just use the saucepan and, um, and warm them up and we'll have those each night for dinner. Um, hot dogs for out on the trail. Nathan's, we love Nathan's, they're the best. Um, and then I picked up some chocolate chip cookie dough to take down there. Um, I may end up making that. There's always kids and people that love it. Um, some real bacon pieces for our potatoes and for the dip. And then this is not the bread that I wanted, but it's what was available. It's good, but it just wasn't what I wanted to do our meatloaf sandwiches and toast in the morning for breakfast. Bagels, hot dog buns to do our sausages and our hot dogs, corn chips to go with dip, 
Cuban bread. I think we might do some pressed Cuban bread. And then zipping around the store, I even ended up picking up some Christmas gifts. Well, dog food for the dogs, storage containers for me because I'm, I need some like these intermediate sizes. I originally picked this up for myself when I saw it, this cutting board, just because it was so cute. But I think I'm giving it to my grandmother. They, they, she always calls her husband, they call each other deer. And so they have little deer things all over their house. So I think I'm gonna give this to my grandparents, mainly my grandmother. It's just too cute. And then this is some pasta I wanted to try. So that's gonna go into the pantry. And then these are some of the aloe infused socks. Trevlin, I got her a giraffe one. Um, and then her roommate is all into sloths that she uh, lives with in college. So I got her roommate some sloth socks. And that's it. And I spent about $97, I believe. Guys, I have all of our cold stuff ready to go in the cooler. I just asked Jaden, he is home for a little while, um, if he would make sure it got rinsed out for me so I can go wipe it down and fill it up. I have cold packs already frozen in the freezer along with ice in two of our refrigerators I'm gonna bag and take. So I like to put things in Ziplocs if I can, especially things like meat. Um, if it were to leak, it will contaminate all the water, all the ice, and then I just double bag like protection. I could just bag the meat and keep it free of contaminating other things, but personally, I just like putting things in additional containers just to make sure. Anything that has like a cardboard um, type packaging, half and half, biscuits, that kind of thing. I have my condiments in here in mason jars and they're all just labeled and they all fit in there nice and neat and then I can just get all this stuff in the cooler and the meatloaf is there. I have all of my um, dry goods. I'll show you. I have a hard-sided duffel here. I found that these just work better for saving our bread <laughs> if I put it in something with some hard size, a little bit of rigidity. So everything is all packed in here. If it does not need to be refrigerated, it is in here and this will go on the top of the stack. All right, guys, it is 3.30 in the afternoon. I just finished giving the whole house a quick pickup. Thankfully, today Chris could cover the office for me and um, for a few hours so I could get the shopping done today, the packing done the rest of the way, and now he's loading everything up. I'm gonna go do a final check on my chickens and then Jaden will be taking care of those for the weekend and then head back to the office for an hour until I have to get changed, go pick up my dad, go to my mom's art show. <laughs> so I'm gonna head there. There's still a few things in the kitchen um, but they're just gonna stay here. Sink has no dishes, the counters are clean and wiped off and I expect them to be that way when I get back. Whatever kid is staying here, they clean up the mess. I do not come home to an empty house that is a disaster. So I will be very unhappy. All right, I have my purse and my cup waiting and I always just throw all my last minute little items um, in my purse or I have a um, emergency bag you know, like my last minute bag, but I didn't need that today. So I just tucked the last couple of items in my bag and it'll sit there until I'm ready to go. So now I'm off to check chickens and then go back to work. So, um. Well guys, it is 4.30 and I just finished getting changed, keeping it super simple because as soon as I leave the art show, then we're loading up and heading to camp. So, um, and it's raining. So not something nice and dark that won't show all the water spots and the dust when we get to camp. So I'm going to go grab my dad and head to the art show. And this is my mom's I'll be back. I usually come back. Okay, 30, 49. Oh, okay. Out of 40, 
Well guys, it is 6.30, a little later <laughs> than we planned on uh, on leaving. Let me do that. I don't know if that helps any. A <laughs> um, little later than we planned on leaving, Chris is putting the last cooler um, in the back right now. We are all loaded up back there. We have happy dogs in the back seat, which you probably cannot see them either. Late at night, not used to it being completely dark at 6.30. But um, yeah, we're all loaded and we're just going to grab dinner on the way and I'm starving. <laughs> Never got to eat um, at mom's event. I would have loved to have, but it was just already so late. It had a huge turnout, really nice. They had live music. Um, friends and family came to support her, so it's a really good thing. I'll have to go back when I have more time just to kind of peruse and... Hey. Yes. He needed one more blanket. <laughs> Muggsy's wondering where Chris is because he's not in the truck yet. But we have about a four hour drive um, and then we'll be to camp and then we have to get everything unloaded to our camper set up and we'll get in bed probably midnight, one o'clock tonight. <laughs> it's going to be a late night, but it'll be worth it. So kids are taking care of the house and taking care of everything around here so we can get off. They're working this weekend, so they'll be in and out. All right, I will take you guys along for the rest of our night until we get to camp. Are you ready? Do you want to go to camp? What about you, Macy? Are you ready for camp? Yeah? You want to tell me about it? Muggsy? Muggsy? Hey, can you tell me? Yeah? You want to go? Can you tell me all about it? Yeah? Yeah? Where's Chris? Can you tell me? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, guys, we have made it to camp and we are heading back to our property now to get unloaded. Well, guys, it is about 12.30. We are at camp, unpacked, put away. I just turned the TV on, made a drink. And I'm going to kick my boot, boots off in a minute and just relax and then we'll end up getting a shower and heading to bed. But everything is clean, neat, and put away. And once again, safely here. Great drive and we'll take you on some trail rides tomorrow. Alright guys, have a great night.